Hope you're following with me. It's time for episode number three. We're going to start on the application. So we're going to set out the headings at this point uh, for your application. So the headings uh, are in this order. It starts with the title. The next will be the field, so field of endeavor, the area that the invention occurs in. The background. Background covers your um, the state of the art up to the point of the invention. So what you're doing is trying to describe where the invention fits in, how it improves on what was already out there. And uh, I'm going to get into s the searching that you're going to want to do in the next episode. Uh, but the search results, if they're relevant, would uh, probably be described in the background. Okay, for the um, starting in on the substance of describing your invention, the first uh, section is the summary. And the summary, in a nutshell, describes what is described in detail in the detailed description. The next is the description of the figures. The description of the figures provides a listing of all the figures and in you know, one sentence or less what they are, what they're showing. Then the detailed description describes all the aspects of your invention. And then finally you have a section uh, called claims. So claims provide your legal entitlement or what you believe is your legal entitlement to the invention. And all applications have an abstract. So the abstract um, is a short 150 word or less summary of the invention. So those are your headings and we're going to go through them one by one uh, as we prepare the patent application. Now just to start off, there's a few, uh, we're going to do it in, a, in an unusual order in that we're not going to start with the title. So things we're going to leave till later are going to be the title, the summary, and the abstract. What we're going to look at first is the field of the invention. So you can start right now putting together one sentence to describe the field. We're going to use an example throughout this process of a hand cranked espresso maker. So it has a chamber for the hot water a chamber for the grounds, and then pressure is applied through the shaft um, to, to squeeze the water through the grounds and produce an espresso. And we can use that as a basis for this example application that we'll go through. So the field of endeavor would be coffee preparation or hot drink preparation devices, something like that. It don't have to be in depth you just have to provide um, a basic uh, rundown for the examiner to situate himself because the examiner will then f do a further analysis on the particular field and it's broken down into one of a thousand or several thousand classifications of different industrial areas. But you don't have to do that, the examiner will do that for you. So first you're just going to choose a general field that the application uh, subject matter fits into. Some people have asked about boilerplate. That's you know something that can be put at the end of your uh, description that uh, describes to the reader that you know the application is not limited to the embodiment uh, herein and can be expanded. And you know as technology develops, uh, the application and the subject matter can be applied to that as well, and so on. So I'm not going to go into the details of boilerplate here, but you can get some good ideas of boilerplate looking at uh, applications filed by big companies like Apple and Google and so on. It'll be near the beginning and end of the detailed description. Mm -hmm.